Well, today I'm over at that pool I was talking about, uh, do a little metal detecting. I'm not going to show the whole thing, um, just because I don't know who else uh, has been around or has noticed this spot yet, but it used to be an old public pool here, and uh, it's just it's just loaded with clad, and I've gotten some silver dimes out of it, a few rings and whatnot, so... Um, I'm not going to do live digs on everything because it, like I said, it's just loaded with clad, but wanted to put a little bit of a video out. So if I, uh, if I find anything today that's, uh, interesting, I'll get it on video and, uh, maybe a little bit later, I'll do a wrap up on some of the things that I found so far, like an update. So, uh, I'm going to get out, get started, and hopefully I'll find something interesting to show you. So just to give an example of what I'm dealing with here with uh, this old public pool here. You see where they, that's where the pool used to be out in the middle out there. And this, this is a, the grassy areas all, uh, all around it where, uh, you know, everybody would have put their towel down or whatever. But the signals coming out of here are crazy. It's mostly clad. Uh, but like I said, I am getting some older coins, some sil a lot of silver dimes out of here. Um, but this is just an example. I mean, everywhere you go. Let's see, up in here. Let's just take a little walk. There's something in there. Take a little walk through here. There. Coins in there all through here and I got to go through all this and dig all these coin signals out because some of them could be jewelry there's a weird signal there in the 30s we'll check that out in a minute but just everywhere you go Let's see these are all signals through everywhere so that's why I'm not gonna live dig anything um, unless I find something very interesting but uh, just give you a little example of how many signals are in this place nobody's ever touched it so uh, I'll get back to you if I find something interesting besides pennies nickels and dimes all clad so see you on the next Already we're on the board. This is about the third, about the third hole that I dug, and I don't know if you can see that. But that, it's a silver war nickel. It's hard to. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera or not. All right, let's take a look. That is a war nickel. And let me see if I can get a date. There we go. Sorry, my video skills aren't the best, but get an idea of what we're looking at. Looks like a uh, 43. And I don't want to rub it too much. There we go. It looks like a looks like a P on there. But Silver war nickel. It's about the second one of these I found here. So, on to the next, and I'll film again if I find something interesting. Okay, so I'm back. I was getting a signal that sounded like a penny, but right here in the plug is a little ring. Let me see if I can get that. Sorry, guys, it's sunny out, and I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Now, it doesn't look like gold or silver or anything. Well, it could be silver. I'll have to get that cleaned up. It's got a little stone on it. But uh, I found quite a few rings that were kind of junk rings. But just a little example. It might be silver. I'll have to get that cleaned up. Could very well be a little silver ring there. Oops. 
And again, I apologize, guys. This is my first metal detecting video. I made a few videos on uh, looking for Indian arrowheads and stuff. And this is the first time I'm doing anything with the metal detecting. I just got the metal detector a couple months back and found this spot using a Garrett Ace 400. And the little orange Garrett carrot. And uh, that's not a bad little find. Like I say it was ringing up yeah, in the mid 70s. So, it, like I said, it might not be silver. Then again, it could be just you know small piece that, or the way it was laying. But and it was laying right there as soon as I flipped the plug. It was sitting right there. So, not a bad little find. Um, I've been here. Oh, maybe in maybe a good two hours now. I've been digging up just tons, tons of clad. Uh, plus, I got that war nickel. I mean, there's just an example. Just a ton of clad in this place. And like I said, I'm glad nobody's ever hit it before. But I've probably dug about fifty dollars worth of clad already, which kind of helps out. Uh, gonna probably take that clean it up in a tumbler and wrap them up and maybe buy a few more things for the hobby you know uh, I'd really like to get one of those lesh tools because I've been using a trowel but um, I'm gonna go up in here pretty soon if I even get to it I've actually started this that little blue thing right out there in the middle I've only been really in about 20 yards of here and that's all you can do. You can only get so far in a day because there's so much, so many signals, so much clad out here. But, uh, all right, well, hopefully we get something else. I'd love to pull a silver dime out of here. Um, like I said, I've probably gotten, oh, 10 or 15 silver dimes out of here so far from the 60s and 40s. Uh, pool was built in the 1960s. I think it was built in 1960. So I am getting, you know, wheat pennies, um, I did find one buffalo nickel in here in 1928 and like I said at least 15 silver dimes plus a few of these rings so I'm going to keep at it and uh, on to the next and see what else we find. Alright guys, um, a couple hours, well maybe an hour or so since I found that ring. I just got a signal, flipped the plug and I don't even have to really pull it out yet but I can see that is a silver dime in there. Let's see if I can if you can see it. Looks like a Merc sitting there. Oh yeah. Let's pull it out and see what we got. As soon as I flipped the plug, that's how I found it. 1941. I don't even have to wipe it. I can see the date on it. Looks like it's got some good detail to it, too. I'm not even going to wipe. I can't see if it's got a mint mark or not. But it looks like it's got some really good detail to it, so I'm not even going to wipe this off. I'm going to get this home and clean it up. But, like I said, every, every once in a while, there's uh, some silver dimes coming out of here. For a pool that was built in the 60s, they still would have been in circulation um, when this thing was built, so... Uh, found some Roosevelt dimes in here, but also a couple of these guys, and this one's a nice one. Like I said, 41. I'll show you when I clean it up. And just getting ready to head out of here, too. I'm going to go home and eat, and uh, decided to dig a couple last signals up on the top of this little hill right here. It's kind of, you can see it's uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of an edge there, but Anyway, that's cool. See you on the next or on the wrap up. This is the hole that I just found that mercury dime in. I'm just getting ready to cover back the, the hole up and decided to check in there, got nothing. I was just getting ready to flip this plug over and I'm getting another hit here. And I can just barely make out the edge of another silver dime right there so I got me a little uh, silver dime spill going on there haha -ha, yep 
looks like a Rosie. Yeah, 19, looks like 58, I think. But still, that is so cool. I didn't even know it was there. I retrieved, I got that target because as soon as I flipped the plug, that dime was, that mercury dime was sitting there. And just decided to check the plug real quick before I flipped it back over. And I usually, when I stand up, I usually rescan the holes anyway. But, uh, never even saw it there. So this was two silver dimes in one hole. It's pretty awesome. All right. Back to the next. Hopefully uh, we get another target here before I leave. If not, I will clean these up and show you a wrap up. So here's the wrap up today from that pool. Uh, this is the clad that I dug. We got there 6, 12, 8, 19 dimes. Looks like 24 pennies, 5 quarters, another 15, 17, 18, uh, 18 modern nickels. And then we got two wheat pennies. Um, kind of hard to see them, but they're from the 50s. There's two wheat pennies there. This was the first good signal that I dug up. This is that 43 war nickel. It's a 43p. See if I can get that for you. Let's see. You can see that 43p. This is the dime spill. We have a 58d Roosevelt and a 41 plain mercury dime. And that mercury dime cleaned up nice. It's uh, got some good detail to it. And this was the ring that I found. Looks like a little aquamarine in there. And it is uh, it is silver. On the inside we got a, I can see the word sterling on the inside, so got another ring for the pile. And then this is just a little iron buckle probably from a bathing cap or something. But uh, so that was today for about two, three hours there at the local pool. Um, I will be right back. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've already found from there. Be right back. Okay, so this is stuff that I've gotten from this place, from this pool that I was at today. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I'll go through a few things here. and uh, It's not a bad haul. This is over... A couple of trips obviously um, I started getting wheat pennies and at first I was putting them all into flips uh, but then I realized that I was gonna run out of flips so what I did was you can see a couple of different ones there but then I just started uh, to collect them you know clean them up I mean those are all wheat pennies that came from this place no special years. There's a couple in the 30s. Most of them, most everything you see is in the 50s. Uh, it's the same thing with these nickels here. There's no special nickels. Um, these are just before 1960. If I cleaned them up and they were 59 or under, I just kept them off to the side. So we got some other stuff. There was a foreign coin there, Canada, 1944. And this here is from the Netherlands. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like a 10 cent piece. And uh, don't know what that's doing there, but kind of neat. This was the other war nickel that I found. Uh, I just found this a few days ago. The 43p. And this is the oldest coin that I found there so far. It's a 1928 Buffalo. I can barely make out the date. Uh, I had to use a glass, but I could just see the 28 on the bottom there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. but So those, that's those. This year is kind of little token. It's from, uh, what does it say here? Pinnacle Mint. Uh, there's a little league right next door. This is, it says Jeff Bagwell Astros. I think it's from 97. Just like one of those little collector 
tokens or little trading coins. Maybe they run with baseball cards or something. Uh, this here is the silver dimes. There's some other stuff here. I'll get to that stuff in a minute. But these are the mercury dimes. You have 42. Another 42. 43, 44, 45, and 45. So, got a couple of good mercury dimes out of there. And then, these are all the Roosevelt's. And they're all silver. These are all from 64 before. 63, there's a couple with mint marks. There's a 62D. Uh, let's see. Couple, let's see, 57, 53D. These are all average dates. There's a 64 in there. 58, 53D, uh, 57, and a 60. So there's 13 in flips, plus the one I found today is 14. So that's on the Roosevelt's, the Mercury's. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the other one I found today. That's the stuff that's up in the corner from today. So there's seven of those. These are some little doodads, just some buckles and whatnot, some buttons. That's some kind of junk metal, little heart, little tag. I think from the baskets they used to have where you put your clothes in them and uh, you can bring them over and put them up on the shelf or whatever. I think that came from, that's what that was from. Some buttons, master key, a couple little things. There's a little religious pin. Looks like a little Catholic pin there. And uh, this is part of a, a necklace. Looks like some horses. Yeah, horse necklace. And a little happy face. And a couple of hair barrettes there. The cool stuff, the interesting stuff, is this. Uh, these are, this is silver. This is a sterling silver ring that I found. Uh, let's see, here's another one. This here is a little silver pendant. Says uh, St. Anne's Basilica on there, but it's sterling silver. A religious metal. This is the only gold ring, solid gold, and it, well, it's 10 carat, but it's a gold ring. Don't know what the stone is, but found that a couple times back. Uh, these here, I believe, are gold plated rings. I have to get them looked at, but it looks like some of the gold is flaking off. But on the back side of them, I was able to make out 10 carat something. So I think it said 10 carat plated. And there's some more rings here. These are all, none of these are uh, anything special. No silver or gold. These are just some junk rings that I found there. There's one more nice silver band, uh, which I will show you at the end of this video. My girlfriend actually claimed it, so she's wearing it. Uh, kind of the hazards of detecting finding something nice. You find a piece of jewelry the woman likes, and that's what she gets. So I will show that one um, at the end of all this. And there's one more thing I want to show you. Just hold on a minute. Yeah, like I said, there's one more thing. This is unbelievable. This is the clad coins that I've dug from there so far. And as you can see, there is a pretty big pile there. All nickels, dimes, quarters, pennies. And I haven't exact counted it up to exact yet. The last time I counted it, I hit $50 and there was still pennies left. So... I am over $50 in clad, in clad coins from this place, so all in all, 
it's a pretty nice little spot it's great that it's uh nobody else is hunting it right now so just going in there and cleaning it up it's going to take a long time there's a big area to hunt and uh every day that i get over there i can only do small sections because there's so much of this coming up uh today that stuff that i showed you today there was just over three dollars there um there's days that i'm coming home with four and five dollars in clad coins um not every day out is a silver but you know it's not a bad little pile of silver dimes there's over 20 dimes there now and two silver war nickels plus all the weedies that are coming out of there um i'll show you that silver ring um at the very very end of this but i want to thank you guys for watching uh bear with me this is my first video on uh, I'm doing any kind of metal detecting tend to babble a little bit but hope you understand maybe I'll get better at it as time goes by um, I'll call this part one because I'm sure I'm gonna keep going over there and hopefully pull out some more silver maybe get a nice piece of jewelry out of there or something but I'll keep you posted and right now um, you know, it's still June, but I'll probably be hitting this thing all summer. Um, I haven't really gotten anywhere else, but I'll probably be working on this all summer. So, But I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you see, please like, subscribe. I'm hoping to have some more videos out uh, as soon as I can, both on metal detecting and looking for Native American arrowheads. So until next time, like I said, I'll show that ring at the end. Thanks a lot. Have fun out there, everybody. Be safe. Good luck. This is the uh, the ring that I was talking about in the last, uh, before I signed off. This was actually the first ring that I found there at the pool. Um, so this belongs with all that other stuff. And it looks like a men's silver wedding band. So this was the first good thing that I found. And uh, let my girlfriend keep it. She liked it, so. So, that's everything from the pool up to date. And, uh, try to do another one. Like I said, I'll call this part one. And, uh, when I get some more stuff to show, or get over there and do a few live digs, I'll put them up as well. So, again, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please post them below. And, uh, thanks a lot. Good luck out there.